Hey guys, I'm Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up? It's great to see you. So just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get into the readings uh, for the first half of May. Um, these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, I'm telling the story as I see it, and I'm reading for a bunch of different people. So if something is resonating with you, but I'm not exactly telling the story as it specifically goes for your situation, just take the elements that you feel resonate and place them where you feel that they go, okay? And if something, if you hear something and it doesn't resonate with you, please don't try and make it fit. Just let it go and you know continue rolling on with the story until you reach another point where th that resonates with you and place that where it goes for you. Yes, um, I am available for private readings. Uh, if you would like to get a reading with me, my email address and the description of the readings that I offer currently are found in the description box below. Um, Please go ahead and email me and you know we can get something set up. I am very, very happy to help you guys out in this way and help you get clarity on whatever situations you are facing in your life. Um, unfortunately, I will not be taking any more questions from Instant Go at this time. Um, Instant Go is a great service. If you have a quick question you want to ask, I highly recommend you do so through Instant Go. And that Instant Go is an iPhone app. But for me, I don't have an iPhone. I have an iPad, but I don't travel with that. Um, and my schedule is so busy and crazy that I don't always have time or even remember, to, to be quite honest, to check Instant Go. And so a lot of those, a few people have sent me questions and I completely miss it. And by the time I actually do get to it, the question's been deleted. And if that is you, I highly apologize. Instant Go just is not um, the best avenue for me at this time. So if you would like to get a reading with me, I encourage you to email me and we will set something up that way. Um, a bit of good news, I will be reading um, in person at Om Shanti Bookstore in the East Village of Manhattan. So if you guys are in the five boroughs or you are visiting, um, New York City, I encourage you guys to come see me. Yay! We can meet in person and have a little chat and whatnot. Um, have our a, a conversation, yeah? Uh, the, even, I'm sorry, the uh, website for Om Shanti can be found in the description box below as well. Just go to the website and um, you can, you know, get the address and all that. I will be there every Monday from 11 to 5. I will not be there uh, Monday, May 7th because May 6th is my birthday and I'm gonna have some fun, right? So uh, thank you to Rakesh for <laughs> giving me the day off because I, I, I'm probably gonna need it. Just throwing it out there. Um, let's see, I believe that's it. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get to the- Hello Taurus, happy birthday. We are officially in Taurus season, y'all. To those of you who have already had your birthday, very happy birthday to you. And to those of us who our birthday is coming up, woo, happy birthday to you as well. Mine is on the 6th, so I'm super excited. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so happy birthday to you, Taurus. Um, here we have your reading for the first half of May, 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. So let's get into the reading, shall we? Okay, so, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Taurus at this time, during this time period of May 1st through the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on from a Taurus fam. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus. Okay, one more shuffle for you, Taurus. All right, here we go. Let's cut the deck and see what we've got. Overall energy, Taurus, we have oof, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone's really passionate about something. Someone wants 
uh, a new start. There is a blockage to a new passionate start. Um, this could be of a spiritual nature, or this just could be what you are passionate about in life. Maybe a career choice, um, some form of artistry, uh, I don't know, a hobby, whatever. Um, I'm picking up here that some of you are feeling lost when it comes to your passions. Um, you may have taken a hit recently that has kind of turned what would be the Ace of Wands upright has kind of turned it in reverse now because you're questioning things. Something isn't a little too clear. There could also be a situation in which someone who is really passionate with you wants a new start, um, but it's blocked in some way. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles, wow, and the Empress. The Empress is in reverse here. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, whatever happened, Taurus, that kind of knocked you off your center, that took this, what you, what you considered to be the Ace of Wands um, upright, whatever happened that knocked it in reverse, has knocked your sense of stability off off center um and has okay ha your sense of independence even maybe even your your sense of self you may be feeling like you're going through some sort of an uh, of a of a um an identity crisis and i totally resonate with this right now y'all um and that is also has it, this is deep okay whatever has happened that has um has um, knocked you out of your clear knowing, um, has reached down even to the spiritual realms um, in the form of an identity crisis. So I'm going to level with y'all. I totally resonate with this right now. We haven't gotten into the Ten of Pentacles yet, but I want to talk about this. Um, I have been going through a situation personally where I just, I've been questioning everything. I, I've been... I have absolutely been questioning who I am, questioning um, my sense of self, my my connection to the divine. I I consider myself to be a feminine energy, and I resonate with the Empress. And if you are on a twin flame journey, or if you consider yourself to be a feminine energy, then this the the the, the Empress is would symbolize that. Um, underneath. The Empress, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We might talk about that. But, um, and so, so I've been questioning my connection. I've been questioning my intuitive and psychic abilities. Um, and, but, big old but here, Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles is saying, is you're, you're good. You are who you know you, yourself to be. You are stable. You are grounded. You are abundant, okay? You have everything that you need at your disposal, okay? So right off the bat already, my advice to you is really just to, to just to spend some time in nature. Spend some time in nature. I mean, get yourself a nice pair of, if you don't have them already, get a, get a treat yourself to a nice pair of headphones, preferably over the ear headphones because earbuds are really dangerous. Um, your favorite, your, your favorite music, okay? Go off, take a walk in the woods, um, you know, lay under a tree in Central Park if you're in the city or, you know, wherever you can just be out in nature, Taurus, just go do it. Take some good music with you because we all know Taurans love music and release, okay? Meditate, ground yourself, process these fears that are coming up for you because literally they are just fears, okay? It's not reality. It's all an illusion. In reality... This is may this is what you may feel right now the nine of pentacles in reverse along with the empress in reverse but this is who you truly are okay let's put these both together this is who you truly are the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles both upright okay just remember that you will get through this let's get into your storyline Taurus we have the princess the page of pentacles in reverse with the Six of Cups. Oh, guys. So we have a soulmate situation here. And there is a message that wants to be, wants to come through. Or Taurus, you want to send a message. Um, but it's blocked. But you need to understand that whoever, whoever is on your mind right now that either wants to send this, bring this message forward to you, 
or that you want to send this message to, this is in fact a soulmate. So this um, this questioning, this identity crisis that you may be going through, it could also include questioning whether or not this person really is someone you're truly meant to be with, if this connection is real. And the Six of Cups is here telling me, yes, that the connection is real and, you, and someone wants to send a message. Someone wants to corroborate. And I, I, I'm feeling drawn to say, finally wants to corroborate what both of you have been feeling this whole time, okay? Moving forward, we have justice. See, justice is going to be served, okay? This could be in some sort of legal situation that you've been in, Taurus, or if you're cross-watching for a Taurus, this could be a legal situation that they've been in. Um, it could just be justice in the form of this relationship that we're talking about here, this soulmate connection. Justice with, oof, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. But there is still some resistance. So this is us, Taurus, the Queen of Pentacles right here. Justice is here. Justice is going to be served, but you need to work on not being resistance, in resistance to it. You need to work on being open to this. Now, I do, <laughs> I do want to say this. Whatever happened to turn you reversed, Taurus, because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse does not come easily. She is patient, steadfast, and sturdy. But when the Queen of Pentacles is turned reversed, man, you know something's up. Okay? So, you may be justified. You may, may very well be justified to be the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. But you must let that go. Okay, it is your responsibility to turn yourself upright, to clear out whatever madness is going through your head that has caused you to become resistant and closed off and defended. Um, and that's also what justice is saying to, to you, too. If you want this to come forward, Taurus, then you need to 11 11. You need to do the work to bring yourself upright again. Okay, that is your responsibility. This person or, or or if you are the person that wants to come forward, they want to come forward or you want to come forward for a reason, a very good reason. Okay, we've got the soulmates right here. All right. So this is a very good reason, but they can't do it for you. They can't turn you up. Right. All right. Even though and I'm resonating with this part of it right now, even though you may be in the mindset or having this argument with yourself for like, well, no, they need to reassure me that they can do this or I'm just, I'm, I'm not even gonna give my time or energy to it. No, Taurus, no, Taurus. You know the deal, come on, don't be so stubborn, all right? I mean, I understand you might be a little battered and bruised, but don't let that stubbornness get... <laughs> Yeah, Taurus, because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is talking about being stubborn in this situation, okay? And yes, you, on certain levels, you may be very justified in being so stubborn. But quite frankly, honey, it ain't helping you, okay? It's only causing more resistance and it's only putting forward more blockages. And this person wants to come forward. I'm just, this person really wants to come forward or this is you, you really want to come forward, all right? And if you're the person that wants to come forward, but you're the Taurus and you're, you're up, you're, un, you're, you know, you're reversed. I mean, you're double blockage, blocking yourself. Okay. This may be a message for Taurus to say, you got to be the ones coming forward. And it's so funny. The reason why I'm saying that is because somebody left a comment on one of my videos talking about, um, you know, or was it an email? I think, I don't remember now. It might've been an email. I don't remember, but someone um, reached out and was talking about how they were drawn to a, a video from a reader that they don't normally watch and it was for Torrens. And in the video, it came out that the Torrens needed to be the one to step forward. Now, in this situation, oh, gosh. And of course, I'm being stubborn now because I don't want to hear that because I'm the person that's kind of like, well, no, like, why am I, why do I constantly need to be the one to come forward? Why can't they come forward just for this one, just for once? Why can't they just take a step and just show up and be like, hey, can we talk? You know what I mean? Like, why do I always have to be, God dang it. Ugh. Anyway, the universe is saying, and they literally just said this to me, Eric, stop being so stubborn. 
Guys, stop being so stubborn. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's a hard message to hear. It's being said to me too. No one is trying to rush you into anything, okay? Know that. God, Lord have mercy. We are already 14 minutes into this reading. Seven of Cups, upright, okay? Yeah, all right, with oof, the Magician in reverse. Oh, this is a rough one, guys. Okay, all right, look, I'm in the same boat with you. I'm feeling it too, I'm feeling it too. Don't worry about it, we'll get through this together. But the Seven of Cups is talking about all of this anguish, all of us saying, look, I don't wanna be the one to come forward. Why do I have to come? Why do I have to be the one to do? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, and then on top of that, it's like, well, how do I even do that? You know what I mean? Now, this is either you, Taurus, or this is the other person that we're talking about here. But there are a lot of options, okay? So we're talking about daydreaming. We got, we're talking about getting caught in wishful thinking, even. It could be wishful thinking that this person, even though you may be justified in not wanting to come forward, there could be wishful thinking in them being the ones to need to come forward first, all right? Coupled with that, with the magician in reverse, all of this wishful thinking is blocking manifestation. Yep. <laughs> Boo. Um, but it's blocking manifestation, number one, because you're, you're not being um, decisive on what it is you want. But also, you're getting caught up in the, quote, right and wrong in the situation, and it's not allowing this manifestation to flow, these manifesting energies to flow, okay? Lord, guys... I'm, I know I feel you guys right now. I feel your frustration. I'm feeling it too. Like, I feel you. I feel you guys because I'm channeling, but also in my own personal life, I feel it too. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Moving forward, we have, ah, the seven of wands. So there's that stubbornness. There is that defensiveness coming up. And I'm not going to say the defensiveness isn't necessarily warranted, but at the same time, it's not helping. Oh, with the lovers in reverse. Okay. Now, please understand. That this is not saying that, you know, the lovers in reverse is not saying that this person is not your soulmate or this is not who this person, you've known this person to be. This, that is not the case here. What this is saying, guys, is this defensiveness, this stubbornness is putting a blockage in this connection. Okay? God bless. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how much this is, like, resonating with me right now. Um, your stubbornness is getting in the way, Taurus. I would say that this could be the other person, but I feel like the only way this is going to apply if this is the other person is if they are the Taurus, okay? Because the Seven of Wands is just screaming, digging your heels in. Now, it's not upright. I'm sorry, it's not reversed, which would then tell me if you're digging your heels in, um, you know, it's unwarranted. Because like I've said before, like Justice also said when we were at Justice and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's not like this, it's not, it's not like it's completely unwarranted for you to not want to come forward first. But understand that this stubborn aspect right now is putting a blockage in this connection, okay? And to be quite honest, what, from what I'm feeling from the other side of the scenario, they don't necessarily want things to be blocked anymore. But they need you to cooperate with them, Okay. Oh, man. All right, moving, <laughs> moving forward, we have strength in reverse, okay? So here's another, this is another, this could be a Leo. Um, and since I'm going there, Justice, I don't remember who Justice is. Oh, Justice is Libra, yes. Um, there could be a Leo involved. I'm sorry, a Libra involved. Um, but, and there also could be a Leo involved. Like, I know my moon sign is Leo, so there's that. But this is strength, okay? This is the Leo card. But this is also, what this is saying to me, this is another iteration of um, stubbornness, of digging your heels in a little too unnecessarily. It's, um, it's asserting your own independence and your own strength. So the nine of pentacles in reverse here can mean an overemphasis on independence. Um, you could be, if you have been finding yourself in a lot of codependent situations, oh Lord, in a lot of codependent situations, um, you could now be swinging, swinging the pendulum, you know, extreme to the other end in being overly independent. Yeah. 
And I said, oh Lord, because look at that, the emperor in reverse. So now, we've got, oh, let me put it this way. We've got the counterparts, guys, and both of you are in reverse. So both of you are blocked now for whatever reason. I mean, we know what the main reason is here in, in terms of your life, Taurus. Um, you're putting the blockage in here um, because you're being stubborn. Yes, I'm going to keep saying that word. And if it's triggering you, you might want to investigate that. Okay. But, um, so I'm picking up two scenarios here. I'm picking up uh, one in the sense that, you know, you're, you're, you're really trying to assert control over your life, but in asserting that control, you're blocking manifestation. You're trying to control things too much, okay? You're trying to be too strong, all right? Uh, you might be, now also, the, the strength in reverse is also talking about egotism, guys. E your ego, my ego, I'm going to, look, I'm going to give you guys the example and I'm going to use myself. I'm going to put my own neck on the chopping block here. My ego is definitely getting in the way right now. Absolutely. Now. Is it completely unjustified? No. But is it completely justified? No. Why? Because sometimes you just gotta let your guard down and take the first step. Because quite frankly, Taurus, if this other person does want to communicate with you, but you're putting up these walls and these blockages, they may need you to come forward in a physical sense and say, okay, all right, I can talk. Let's just let's just talk. Yeah. Now, if this is a situation, again, I'm drawing on my own situation. So, um, but I'm I'm expressing this because it's going to resonate with a lot of you. If this is a situation where the other person, like say the divine masculine, which is represented by the emperor here, in if that resonates with you, because this is the second part of the situation that I'm pick of the scenario that I'm picking up with these two cards. If, say, the Divine Masculine, your Divine Masculine, has been a poo face <laughs> of late, um, then, and there's reason for you, Taurus, to be, or say, even if you're not the Taurus, if there's reason for you to be um, defensive and guarded and saying, no, you need to be the one coming forward this time, well, they may not know how to do it. Okay, they may not know how, the, they may not need, have the right words to come forward with this. So it would be helpful in this situation to just to, just to, just to step up and be like, all right, look, I'm still here. You may not even need to really start the conversation. You may just need to say, all right, look, I'm still here. What's up? And then that'll give them enough to say enough to be at least comfortable enough to draw on their own inner strength and propel forward, okay? All right, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sitting here listening to myself say this and I'm like, really, really? <laughs> Moving on, we have oh, the King of Cups in reverse. I'm not picking up bad things from this, guys. I'm just picking up that it's blocked with Oh my goodness, <laughs> the king of pentacles in reverse. So we, and we've got the counterpart, we've got two instances of counterparts here. We've, and we've got the lovers. So yeah, we're talking about twin flames, guys. If that resonates with you, it is what it is. Okay, but we've got two, two instances of the counterparts. We've got the emperor, empress and the emperor. We've got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. And both, and all four of them are reversed. So everybody's blocked here, all right? What I'm getting from the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups in reverse is this person is stable, grounded, ready to go, emotionally available, or at least coming to a place where they can, they can really accept emotional availability. And they wanna come forward. They wanna express things, but it's blocked. Now this could be you, Taurus, because of the King of Pentacles here. This is your energy as well, as as, as well as the Queen of Pentacles, okay? But everybody, everybody is, is like, everyone is blocked right now for different reasons. 
justified reasons on both ends. Don't get me wrong. Everything is justified to a, to, to a good extent. Everything is justified. Okay, let me not say that. To a good extent, most things are justified. Most of this blockage that we're all feeling right now is justified. But someone's got to be got to be the bigger person here. And Taurus, isn't that often us? I mean, let's be real for a second. Isn't that usually us, the ones that are being the bigger person here? I mean, I'm not even trying to toot my own horn. It's a thing. <laughs> it really is a thing, guys. Anyway, moving forward. Ah, the Princess of Swords. Somebody is watching you. Or you are watching somebody else. That's, I mean, this doesn't, that doesn't have to be this when this card, that, that doesn't have to be the, the meaning when that card comes up. But that's what I'm picking up right now. And the Hanged Man. Okay, so either you are watching someone or someone else is watching you, but they're watching or you're watching from a place of isolation, self-imposed isolation here. And this is mainly because whoever is doing the watching is trying to gather information, is trying to gather the intel to figure out how to resolve the situation. It's so funny. I just did the Aries reading because I'm doing these now in order of how they fall in the Zodiac, right? So I start with Aries and I go all the way down to Pisces. Um, did I say that correctly? Pisces is the last one, right? Anyway, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting sidetracked. But I just did the Aries video and these two cards came up in the exact same order. The Princess of Swords, and then the coupled with the Hanged Man. My, my Venus, <laughs> my Venus is in Aries. And I was resonating with that reading too. And now I'm really resonating with this one, okay? And in between, in between readings, I like shuffled up the cards really good. I like mixed them all together. I did a few shuffles. And then I shuffled here, right in front of you guys. And look at what happened. These two came up again. If you have Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, oh no, not Sun, well yeah, if you have Aries in your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus uh, sections of your chart, I would recommend that you watch that video, okay? But someone's watching someone, but they're not, um, this is not malicious spying, this is gathering intel, trying to figure out how to come forward, if they even can come forward trying to get a new perspective with the hanged man. Okay, and finally, Taurus, we have, yeah, Eight of Swords with, oof, the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, okay. Ooh, yeah. Um, so, the Ten of Wands doesn't bother me because Taurus can really can 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 really carry quite a load. And we often tend to, just because that's that tends to be who we are in nature. What this is saying to me though is this it oh man, this is resonating, guys. <laughs> this is talking about being up in your head, feeling trapped, um, about and not wanting to let go, not wanting to release the burdens of the past and step forward when you feel, if that part of, of the message is resonating with you in the sense that you need to be the one to step forward, you are trapped in your head about it. And this is understandable because it's from a logical point of view. Well, X, Y, and Z has happened in this relationship with this other person. And quite frankly, I don't feel like I should be the one to come forward at this point. I don't feel like I should be the one to initiate anything at this point. And okay. Logically, you might be right. But logic isn't always everything, guys. At some point, sometimes, logic needs to be put to the side and the heart needs to be followed. What is your heart telling you? That is a rhetorical question. And when I asked that question, I turned around to put these cards down and what did I see? The lovers. It just fell out of my hand and it fell upright too. So you know what? I'm just going to put that right there. <laughs> All right, guys. But honestly, though, like really consider the Ten of Wands in reverse is also is screaming stubborn, stubbornness to me. 
just ask yourself, why am I being so stubborn right now? Because I know, and you know, that you are. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be an asshole about it. I mean, I'm a Taurus too. I have no stubbornness like the back of my hand. Okay, so I get it. <sighs> okay, guys. Des <laughs> despite all the mental conflict, that was actually a very, very good reading. So there you have it, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I love you guys. Happy birthday. Hee <laughs> yay. And I look forward to connecting with you for the second half of May. Yeah. Take care, guys. Much love. Bye.